Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, tutorial video. Uh, this time we're going to have a look to the lights in MovieZoo. Um, how they can be used, of course, to create lighting for your scene, but also how they can be used for some special effects. So here we have a preset uh, set uh, that I created uh, and uh, we're going to have a look how can we transform it uh, to be a, a nighttime um, scene and I'll show you how you can use lights to create some nice effects. So the first thing we have to do is edit the environment. We're going to, we have the ambient brightness that we're going to turn down. Uh, as you can see, it's getting nighttime in MovieZoo. <laughs> and that's it. Now let's create a light. Uh, go to create lights and we're going to create a light object. There's a spotlight, directional light, but for now we're just going to have a look to the normal light object. So here we are. Uh, too much brightness, but don't worry about it. We're just going to place it where we want it. And this is going to be a kind of effect that uh, uh, when you look at buildings at night and it, there's people working on those buildings or living on those buildings, you can see actually light coming out of the window. That's the effect we're going to do. For that, we're going to edit the object, reducing the distance because we just want it to cover the window. Uh, not that, a little bit of light, yeah, okay, and let's turn down the brightness as well, like I said, just to cover the specific window. And uh, changing the color, you should change the color to be more like the color of the window, in this case, the, the bright yellowish. Turn down the brightness a little bit, and closer to the window. As you can see there in the camera window, it kind of gives that effect, but we still haven't finished. So we're going to copy paste the same object because the, the bottom of the window still needs to be uh, a little bit more bright. And don't worry because when you record your movie, these objects, although you can see them here, we won't, the camera will not, will not pick them up. So now let's going to have a look here to the to the couple of lampposts uh, we got here near the building entrance. And we're going to create a light to give the, the impression that the lamppost is on and create um, some light for the surroundings. Uh, so we're going to create a normal light object as well and we're going to place it underneath the lamppost so that the light can actually touch that orange uh, spot and it will give the impression that the lamppost is actually on. So here we are, we're going to edit the brightness uh, and the distance as well because we don't want the light to be uh, that big. So we're going to reduce a bit of the distance to give a more uh, realism. As you can see there on the camera window, uh, it just covers the, the surrounding area. Uh, and again, we can adjust the distance here, as you can see the, the, the effect it has on the set. And uh, turn down the brightness a little bit. Uh, to give it, yeah, that looks good. Okay, uh, and here it was what I was talking about. See, it gives the it reflects the light on the orange bit and gives the the impression that uh, the lamppost is actually on. On the other lamppost, we could use a spotlight, uh, but uh, I don't like this approach because of it doesn't have the, the effect that the lamppost is actually on because if you're filming and you're recording and uh, you're showing the, the, the lamppost light, uh, it will not show it as uh, to be on. You have lots of options here for the spotlight. You have the spot, the softness, as you can see there, um, it gets more soft, uh, it blends better with your set, uh, and you can rotate the light. That's the big advantage of the spotlight. And here we have the set, after all, the work has been done. Now we're going to have a look how the lights can be used um, to create special effects as well. As you can see, we have a dustbin here, it's burning and it looks like a, it's burned on the side. This effect it was created using a spot dark because it has a dark light that can be used to give, for example, um, this effect as the dustbin is burnt. Now we're going to 
add a light because when the when there's fire and you can see the shimmering light hitting the, the walls, for example, so we're going to give that object that effect with this object. So we're just going to reduce the distance, of course, and turn down the brightness. And we're going to use this flickering option here. This is a very cool option that our developers added. Uh, and you can turn the speed on, uh, speed, uh, higher speed or a lower speed. Um, of the flickering and it will give the effect like the light is coming out of the flames reflecting on the wall. You can see there on the camera window how it flicks and gives a more realistic. So you have a dustbin that is burned and now let's change the, the, the color um, to be more uh, to look like more the flame because a white light is not the same thing as a, an orange or yellowish light. To match the fire <clears throat> and that's it uh, thank you very much for joining me in this uh, short tutorial remember think out of the box because movie zoo has a lot of potential don't just don't use what we give you try to think a little bit out of the box and create some uh, nice looking uh, sets uh, thanks for watching and bye bye